day is uh, uh, for where I live in the Western Hemisphere. It's the winter solstice, um, the longest night. Uh, it's the beginning point where the sun begins to increase again. Um, and I'm looking back, and it's been one hell of a year. It's been one hell of a several years. Um, and, whew, I don't know. I think it's going to get a lot worse before it gets worse. Um, um, but that's just life. That's the way things are. Um, and I thought for solstice, uh, in these sort of troubling days, I'd give you, uh, the gift of a different perspective. Um, the perspective of the greater self. I've been talking a lot about greater self and uh, never really described for you what that is. <laughs> you know, what it's really like. Um, I did, jeez, uh, a quarter of a century ago in 1996, I wrote a little article uh, called Soantha, in which I described one of my early experiences with greater self. Um, but, hey, I've had a quarter of a century of uh, experiencing my greater self. It's much more familiar to me now, much more, much easier for me to access. Uh, it's it's always with me, it's just a part of my awareness. Um, so I'm in a better position now to describe to you um, the greater self and give you a, a different perspective on, uh, on the world, on uh, life, on our existence. So, I need to talk a little first about the nature of um, perceiving my greater self. Um, these are perceptions with the fire region of my mental body, my temporal mental body, which I just described in my last video. So these are these perceptions are without words. They have no real structure um, that language can encompass. So, I have to bring these perceptions back down into the air and water and earth regions of my mental body, of my awareness, in order to put them into words, uh, to be able to communicate them. So these are translations of perceptions, and my perceptions are so much more than I can capture in words. And it's taken me a lot of practice to get to the point where I can do this and put it in words. <laughs> so, here goes. <clears throat> hmm. This is such a large subject that I'm just going to sort of feel my way through it and uh, hopefully I'll cover all of it for you. So, when I go to my greater self, it's, it's arising, and at first, first glance, shall we say, the realm of the greater selves is dark. Um, it's just darkness. But at the same time, there's all these shapes in it. There's all these things that I can see. Uh, it's as clear as day. But the sense of it is dark. Um, I go up to my greater self. So I call my greater self. Um, and in going up to, I am becoming my greater self. So, 
my awareness is that of my greater self. At this level of greater selves, there are an infinite number of us. Just an infinite number of greater selves. And we're not sequential, because here in this realm there's no sequence. We are all together. Um, our separateness mm, is really an illusion, because it's a very fluid thing. Because it's constantly, well, let's just leave it at that. It's sort of a fluid thing. But still, we have meanness. There is I. I am the greater self, Soantha. And the, my focus exclusively is down into the realm of time and space, the sequential realm. I see the whole realm of time and space all at once. It's all there. There is no past and future and present for me. It's just all there now. It's all there. I create part of it. I am part of the creation of this realm. I project parts of myself, I'll call them my individual selves, all throughout, all throughout this realm of space-time. There is no present and past and future. It's just they're all there. They're all there now. They're all, they always all have been there. All my individual selves strewn throughout this realm. And I live through them. I am connected with each one of them through the fire region of their mental bodies. That is my connection to all of my individuals always in every moment of their existence <laughs> and they exist always so I live through them I feel what they feel I experience what they feel all of them all at the same moment completely I experience the entire realm of time and space through my individual selves. I can focus myself into any one that I want, but I am still in all of them at the same time but I am focused in one, or I am focused in several. I am focused in a moment of time-space, or I am focused in the entire existence of that individual self. I can focus anywhere. I am always focusing, endlessly focusing, endlessly focusing and experiencing and perceiving and being the realm of time-space. And all my fellow graters, all those infinite number of graters, are doing exactly the same thing with all of their individual selves. And all together, we create this realm of time and space, the realm of sequence. We set it in motion. We create it. We are it. It is all us. And it is all there at once. From beginning to end. But there is no beginning or end. It is the Robros. Eating its own tail constantly, 
changing. It's such a beautiful thing. As a whole, it is perfect. It is absolutely perfect. When I look around the realm of the graders, I realize that or I'm at the bottom, as it were. I am the final layer of graders. We are the most specific of the graders. We express, we, we manifest, we are a very finite combination of essential meanings and all the infinite number of essential meanings coming to us from Hakma, we personify a small number of essential meanings and we spew it out, we regurgitate it into the realm of sequence so that it manifests within that realm of sequence and we experience every moment of existence, of eternal existence. Mm. So, as a greater self, I am right here at, at the, the birthing point. I am the womb that gives birth. Yes. But, above me, there are infinite numbers of other graders that are more and more inclusive. This is where I was saying it's so fluid. Oh, greater selves, oh, awareness, consciousness, it, it likes to become groups, it likes to group itself. Here, what happens in the greater realm is just like what humans do in the earth realm. They form collectives. All consciousness in the sequential realm forms collective groupings that mimic what we do as greater selves. So, there is a greater self that is all human beings. I'm a part of that greater self. There is a greater self <laughs> of all minerals. There's a greater self still of quartz crystal, and I am very fond of that greater self. And a greater self of gold. All the gold. These are my friends. Oh, there's greater selves for everything that is manifest, there is a greater self like me. And there are greater selves mm, of animals, of trees. Oh, greater selves of creatures. Greater selves of ideas. Greater selves of feelings. And then there is the one greater self of all the eye. The eye is just so close here. It permeates all of the greater selves. We are all connected. And I can travel. I can become one with the greater self of quartz crystal. I can delve into all the individuals of quartz crystal. And rise back up and come back to myself. Our existence is so fluid here. So fluid here and down there. But my work my work is the realm of sequence. Mm. Yes. I 
again and focus myself within any one of my individuals. I can focus myself into any one of my individuals at any moment in their existence. I can share with the fellow greater selves of human beings, human individuals, I can share with them and look into their individuals as well, and they into mine. Some of us have these affinities between greater selves, of other, you know, groups of individuals hmm, of the same species, really, the same type of being. just as the human greater self shares great affinity with other greater selves of species of animals that live here in planet Earth. We're all so related. So, I look down into the wrong. <laughs> and here I am as Ron. Looking through Ron's eyes. Experiencing this present moment through Ron. looking in your eyes. <laughs> so. Okay. I think <laughs> that will have to do for now. Um, my little gift to you. I hope it uh, huh, brings you something. <laughs> some comfort in some way to know that there's much different perspectives on the universe than our tiny little moment here in time-space when it feels like everything in the world is going to shit. Um, but hey, shit happens <laughs> uh, over and over and over again. And life goes on. We continue in one form or another. We always continue. So that's it for me. Happy solstice. Bye-bye.